and the myth, the legend, is in with his next attack, and he is doing... What? Queen charge, giant hogs, golems, ice golems, with seven bat spells and a jump? Klaus, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, he's just doing it for the content at this point. And we're in with Queen Walkers versus Darkest Muzan in this OP pro matchup. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a good one. And Stadra coming in with the first attack of the match. And he's bringing us some Super Witch action. Okay. Only three Super Witches, though. And he's got four Ice Golems. What the heck? No Lightning Spells and an early blimp with a Rage Spell. This is a very interesting and unique Super Witch variation that you don't see every day. What does he need four Ice Golems for? The Yeti Bomb is successful, clears the entire compartment, and gets the early CC pool, which I assume is what he wanted. Baby Dragon on the Lava Dog. Headhunters are coming on over to fight the Baby Dragon, but inside the poison they die pretty quickly, but now we don't have the poison to deal with those Lava Pups. We've wasted quite a bit of time. He's only down to 2 minutes and 15 seconds to go. Drops a wall breaker from 9. Baby Dragon's still working on that Lava Dog. Finally, after about 3 or 4 business days, it goes down. We got the Lava Pups to deal with, but we're just going to drop the Queen right there. We want her to walk into the Eagle Artillery Compartment. Less than 2 minutes to go. I'm a little concerned for time here. Queen has the Unicorn to assist. An Ice Golem out in front. He only has one healer in this army composition. Normally you see four or five healers with super witches, but he decides to bring a ton of ice golems instead of healers. Balloons to funnel the topside archer tower. Do they get it down? No, the archer tower stays up. We wall break up top as well. It drops one more balloon, but it goes to the mortar. Uh oh. Queen's gonna clear that entire nine o'clock compartment, but I think she's gonna die after that. Ice golem with the king up top. We're at a minute and 20 left on the clock. He hasn't even dropped a single Super Witch. What is he doing? Ice Golem and Super Witches from 4 o'clock. Okay. King on the top side. The Unicorn is pulling over to the King because the Queen died. We wall break into the Town Hall. Warden with the three Super Witches and one healer. That takes a Seeking Air Mind to the face. One healer we brought and it didn't get any value. Invisibility spell on the King, but he's not going to be able to take out the Scatter Shot because it's invisible. What? Rage and freeze into the town hall. Only one super witch goes inside. There is no funnel. So what, what is Stodger doing? King clears the top side. 40 seconds to go. He's got a jump spell, but nothing to do with it. What in the world are we watching? Pops the warden ability. Okay. Super witch goes into that poison. The new giga poison after the... Maintenance break is just OP. Absolutely demolishes that witch. Holy crap. Sends the RC with only 20 seconds to go from the top side of the base. Oh my gosh, this is going to be low percent. Needs to use the rage and the freeze for the RC. Just go, go, go. Get as much percent as you can. Sir! Sir! Use the rage spell. You've only got five seconds. There's the rage on the Royal Champion. Use the freeze as well. Pop her ability for the extra percent, please. Two, one. We run out of time when the RC is still at full health. And a 71% attack for Stadra on Kartik's base. Uncharacteristic of Queen Walkers here to start off the match. But now, this could get really interesting. Let's see what Darkest Muzan can do with their first attack. GUI is in on Klaus's base. The first attack for Darkest Muzan. And he's bringing us some Mass Witch with three golems and seven Super Wizards. Oh! It's a go wee wee <laughs> and we'll see if he does indeed go wee wee early blimp for the town hall chamber town hall is going to drop right away <clears throat> nice start right there by GUI now what's next gets a partial CC pool only one headhunter baby dragon to funnel at 10 o'clock quad quake to open up the core okay here come the golems and an ice golem spreading out the witches across this 1030 side of the base. King is in. No, queen is in. Warden is in. Has yet to drop the king. Does he drop him into the core as well? Next golem is in toward the middle too. Drops the king from the 8 o'clock side. Most of the witches are pushing straight into the core. He didn't have any witches on the top side. 
which might be bad news bears. The ice golem pops, freezes everything up. Queen gets through the lava dog, no problem whatsoever. King with the unicorn, gonna be able to take out the eagle and the royal champion on the southwest side of the base. We're gonna rage into the core, still holding on to that warden ability, and we got the royal champion to deploy later. Pops the warden ability in the core, looking beautiful. Here comes the royal champion from the south side of the base in combination with the king to help take out the lower end of the base as the main force pushes through the core. The quad quake giving them access to the entire base until eventually we'll have to beat through a wall to go get the Tesla farm on the back end. We're gonna fight that enemy king, take him out no problem whatsoever with the help of the free spell. It should be easy cash money. King is tanking and he's actually gonna die very soon. RC still has her ability. We got a freeze and an invisibility spell in the bag to deploy. Does he use any of it for the queen, or do we save it all for the royal champion? You're gonna have to pop her ability. We got two witches still alive on the bottom side, trying their best to clean up all these buildings. But that mortar is actually doing more damage than you think to these witches. Royal champion gets through everything, her ability, and the queen were able to take out that last scatter shot. I think he's got it with these last two spells if he would just use them. There goes the freeze on the Tesla to keep that royal champion alive. Queen at almost full health, warden at full health. The skeletons on the bottom side to do cleanup. 50 seconds to go. Ladies and gentle fish, we are looking at a clan clash triple for Darkest Muzan. And they are going to take an early lead here over Queen Walkers in the first round of attacks. Now, all the pressure is on Queen Walkers. If they want to win this match, they got to start stepping it up. No more fails from them if they want to compete with Darkest Muzan here. Down goes the Archer Tower. We basically swagged that last invisibility. It got zero value whatsoever, but it's a three star on the board with 20 seconds to spare and a nice attack from GUI. Gaku is in with the second attack for Queen Walkers and they need a three star. And what in the heck he's doing? Queen charge sneaky goblins. Oh my gosh, with five bat spells. I swear if this works, this is gonna be amazing. Queen starts at nine o'clock. Here we go. Which way does he want her to go? He drops the healers on the bottom side. Warden with the queen, okay. Queen's gonna walk down. Get the bomb tower, continue walking down, it looks like, perfect. It's the gold mine, the mortar, and here we go. Where are we gonna wall break? He only brought one wall breaker. Probably gonna use it way farther south into the eagle artillery compartment. Nice, I like it. There goes the wall break, one minion to help funnel. Could funnel with sneaky goblins, but it looks like he wants to use all of them for cleanup later. Here comes the mass headhunter CC. But after the maintenance break, remember those headhunters don't do quite as much damage as they used to. So we're actually gonna get through those pretty easily. That's nice. King on the outside to funnel. One ice golem going in from six o'clock and the log launcher as well. How far does that log launcher get? He's gonna allow queen to get all the way to the core and take out the entire base. Sends the royal champion with the king. Bro, how is he gonna get this town hall? With sneaky goblins, I guess. He's already dropped like half of his sneakies from the top side of the base. Okay. He's gonna use the rest of the sneakies to get that town hall. Oh, I see what you're doing, Gaku. He's gonna queen charge the entire base and just sneaky goblin town hall. Log launcher still going. Gonna bust open all the way to the core. Here come the sneakies for the town hall. Look at those on the top side. Does he have to use a spell? We do have an invisibility. He's not using it though. He's not using his invisibility on the town hall. He's got two more sneakies. Ooh, invest the freeze as well. Down goes the town hall. Maybe, yes, barely. Town hall drops. Bats from 10 o'clock with an invisibility spell? What? What was that about? Queen charged like the entire core though with the help of that warden and bats can finish off the rest of the base. There's no more splash. Gaku! Bro, that was godly. No freaking way. Wow. Queen charge, sneaky goblins. Holy crap. Gaku just inventing new metas and just breaking the game, dude. Holy crap. That was awesome. And now Queen Walker is going to be putting a little bit of pressure onto, onto Darkest Muzan. Manta with the next attack for Darkest Muzan. Can they keep their triple streak rolling? They're bringing a little Queen Charge hybrid action against Yuta 14's base. Find a Tesla right away at 10 o'clock. Trying to do a lot of funneling with some balloons. Uses a Sneaky Goblin at 5 and finds two more Teslas. Okay. Looks like we're going to try to Queen Charge the Town Hall. Nice and easy right here. Should be able to do that. Wall break is successful. Sacrificial Owl straight into an air defense. Rest in peace, 
the owl. Have to drop those healers now. Headhunters on the queen. Got to invest the freeze. Even though they got a little bit of a damage nerf, they still do a lot of damage. A lot of damage to the heroes. Queen will be able to take out the lava dog, drop a poison to help her get all the pups. Then we will start making our way into the town hall chamber. I'm a little concerned on whether or not the healers get in range of this multi. But he's actually going to start the hybrid super heckin' early. Oh my goodness. Wall breaks the king and siege barracks into the scattershot compartment. Rages queen through the town hall. And we're about to start this hybrid right now. Here they go. Ice golem pops. Siege barracks on the outside. King inside. He's going to have to fight the enemy king. Hopefully he brought a headhunter to help. Sends in the headhunter to help. And here we go with the hybrid. Straight into that multi-chamber. Going to go with the first heal already. Pops the king ability. Does the hybrid split in awkward directions? Rage up the queen again. Healers are still alive through the giga poison. Queen might fight the royal champion. No, the hybrid pulls a royal champion. King with siege barracks hogs on the bottom side. There's a lot of Teslas there that are stalling them up. Pops the warden ability to get through all of this. The hybrid in the core got wiped. RC is by herself now. There's still siege barracks uh, hogs on the bottom side with a couple of miners left. We use the freeze on the top for a bomb tower. Okay. Most of the miners are thinning out. We got the Royal Champion who already popped her ability. A Rage Spell in the bag, but this is thinning out fast. And it might just be the defense that Queen Walker's needed to get back into this match. Stodger got 71% earlier. Can this attack get more than 71 to maintain the lead for Darkest Muzan? He's got a minion at 3 o'clock. Queen on the outside with a Rage means he should be able to get through 71%. Plenty of time as well. Okay. That hybrid just died so fast, dude. It did not work out the way he intended. Only one healer left alive. We do have the queen ability, 69% pog, 70 and 71. He's gonna surpass Stodger's attack. So Darkness was on, still gonna be in the lead on percent after the second round of attacks, but it's all tied up. Five stars apiece, and oh baby, this is gonna be a good match now. Anything could happen after this. Nice try to Manta, but it's not going to work out. The minion at 3 o'clock dies. Queen's getting targeted by the Eagle, the Wizard Tower, the Mortar, and the Expo now. We're at 81%. Can he get 82? No! We fall short at 81%, and Darkest Muzan are up by 10 buildings. Stars is in with the third attack for Queen Walkers, bringing us not Lalo? What? <clears throat> Stars is not using Lalo today. He's going in with a Pee Wee Wee attack. Except no peckers, rip. What can we call it? He's got witches and wizards and super wizards. So there's three different wees. <clears throat> We're gonna call it the wee wee wee. <laughs> He's going with the wee 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 attack. Five healers. We're gonna see an early queen charge here. Ooh, loses the first healer right away. No Coco Loon. Seeking air mine absolutely demolishes that healer. Wall break to let queen take out the multi. Okay, gonna rage up the queen, get through the enemy queen, loses a second healer. Oh, the Coco Loon was just one tile off. At least it finds a third seeking air mine. But was this attack baited from Ty? Who knows? Queen kills the enemy queen. Now she takes out the multi. That's looking nice. Next wall break to allow queen to keep walking down. Gonna need one more wall breaker to give her access to the scatter shot compartment. Oh, loses a third healer, bro. Why? Oh, this attack was so baited from Ty. Holy crap, we're down to just two healers left. Oh, and another one! No! Ty, you god! Here come the Wee Wees from the bottom side with the King and the Ice Hound. He's only got one healer alive. Where's the last wall breaker? She can't reach the scatter. Oh, this is bad news, Bears. That scatter shot's about to kill her. No more healers to keep her alive. Down goes the Queen and another Seeking Air Mine. All five healers die to Seeking Air Mines. What a beautiful base. Which is on the left side, spreading out the wee-wees. He uses the log launcher from the bottom and has to get all the way to the town hall. <sighs> this is risky bisky now. Oh, rest in peace, the homie. We're going to have to pop the warden ability soon to keep the log launcher from dying too early as the scattershot is literally shooting the log launcher. Sir, you need to pop that warden ability. Oh, no. Stars. Triple ice golem in the CC. We do have the king ability and still the warden ability and the royal champion that we have to somehow use to get the town hall. But there's CC troops we have to fight. A lava dog in the CC is going to distract our wee wees in the core. That's never a good thing when your wee wees are distracted. He uses the royal champion from 10 o'clock. Oh, and there's Teslas and a single target in front of the tower. Uh, I'm nervous for stars. Please save the town hall. Free spell on the town hall. 
Rage spell for the Royal Champion. That's definitely the right call. We have to make sure we secure this Town Hall. Please don't get distracted by the uh, Lava Pups, girl. Come on. Last freeze is in. There's a Skelly Trap that's going to distract her. Gonna have to pop her ability. Please tell me she can get it. No more spells to use. There's so many defenses on her. No. Pop the ability. She's not even in the rage anymore. Another skeleton spell. I mean, trap. No. Oh, what a heartbreaker. It's gonna be a one star for stars. He swags the warden ability. Should have used it way earlier when that log launcher was still alive. He could have gotten a bigger push in the core. Oh no, the one star, 80% for stars. And Darkest Muzan with a huge chance now to take a commanding lead in this match. Ty is in, he just had the most amazing defense possible. Can he come in and get a triple as well? He might be the MVP of the match if he does. And let's see what he can do here on Gaku's base. He's coming in with a good old fashioned Pee Wee Wee attack with a golem on this one. Only two peckers, yeah, <laughs> two peckers. Warden walk at the top to try and get the scatter shot. Okay, uses a wizard to help funnel the top side. Probably going to give the Warden enough time to get the scatter, hopefully, if he even paths there. We use a Wall Breaker over into the Eagle Artillery Compartment. Going to need to Rage up the Warden? Maybe. Doesn't have to, but it would save a lot of time. Down goes the Wizard Tower. He steps up for the Dark Collector. Tell me he shoots the scatter next. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, he does. That poor Sacrificial Owl dies nice and early. There goes the Rage. Better late than never, but that was very late. Gonna end up swagging the second half of the rage duration. Could have used it earlier to save some time. Unless he wants to take out the Royal Champion too. Which I think he does. Gets the bomb tower. Only two minutes left in this attack. He's gonna let him take out the Royal Champion. Alright. She doesn't even see it coming. She gets absolutely plastered in the face. Down she goes. But we're not gonna give him enough time to take out the air defense. I'm a little concerned for the healers now. King with witches from the right side of the base. Here come the two peckers. Headhunter to help us deal with the, Royal, with the king right away. Here come the Wee Wees into the middle of the base and a Log Launcher again. We're starting to see more Log Launchers with these Pee Wee Wee attacks instead of the Siege Barracks. Okay. Queen takes out the air defense. I think we only lost one healer. Lava Hound and Ice Golem coming out of the CC. Log Launcher is going to push us all the way to the core. Uses a Wall Breaker to help the Royal Champion on the south side of the base. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, I guess it'll allow one witch to go in there, but the witch decides she wants to go in and help the core push anyway. Pops the warden ability, keeps everybody alive through the double multi compartment in the core. Beautifully done right there. Lots of traps there that the warden ability saved us from, which is nice. Uses a rage spell for the royal champion. She clears the entire south compartment there. Jump into the back end town hall. It's looking pretty good. He's got a lot of troops alive. Still a rage and an invisibility to use. Witch is doing cleanup on the south side of the base. Queen and he had Yetis in his log launcher are going to take out the town hall with ease. A back end wall breaker to let him go outside the base and even a baby dragon to take out the archer tower that he missed. Oh, this is just looking OP. Wee Wees are dying to the Giga Poison. Tornado Trap pops on the back end. We're going to have to pop this queen ability unless we use the invisibility spell. And he does. Our Royal Champion died. Queen, Unicorn, and Warden staying alive in that invisibility spell. We could pop her ability. Is this looking a little close on time? I don't think so. I think he's got it with the Queen ability. Plenty of time on the clock. 18 or 17 seconds to spare. A beautiful hit from Ty. And Darkest Muzan with a commanding lead. Ty with the one star defense and the three star attack. Beautifully done from him. And Darkest Muzan are up eight stars to six. Don't forget to use code Lexnos in the in-game shop if you want to help support this channel. Thank you so much if you do. Klaus, the man, the myth, the legend, is in with his next attack, and he is doing... What? Queen charge, giant hogs, golems, ice golems, with seven bat spells and a jump? Klaus, what are you doing? Oh, gosh, this is going to be a good one. <laughs> oh, he's just doing it for the content at this point. Here we go, wizard from 12 o'clock. Royal champion right away. Okay, we don't need her for later. We're going to use her right away. He wants her to take out the multi-targeting Inferno Tower, but there's a lot of Teslas here. And a Skeleton's Trap. Ooh, I don't know if she gets it. He doesn't have an Invisibility spell or a free spell to help her. There's nothing he can do to help that Royal Champion. Does she still get it? Please. You know you want it, girl. Ooh, ooh, with the last shot, she gets it. Calculated, dude. Klaus knows what's up. Here comes a second Skeleton Trap. 
Queen's gonna continue walking to the right. Looks like we want her to walk into that next multi-targeting Inferno Tower compartment. Okay. King on the outside with the active funnel. Queen takes out the air defense and then she goes in. Perfect. She'll take out the multi. She can't reach the town hall, but he funnels uh, at four o'clock. So that way King's gonna go in and take out the town hall. We're using the warden with the queen charge. King goes in, takes out the mortar. There's the third skelly trap. He'll be able to pop his ability, take out the town hall. We even send in a Valkyrie to help support giant and wizard on the outside for the archer tower. Pop that king ability. Down goes the town hall. Pop the warden ability to save the queen. He doesn't want to drop the poison. There we go. He was very patient with the poison. The warden switched off to the king, which is actually a little awkward because now the warden's sitting inside that giga poison, taking a lot of damage. Warden, no. Oh, that poor guy. Does he actually die to that? Dude, holy crap. Look at that giga poison, bro. He's going to die. Ooh, barely stays alive. Queen gets through all the lava pups. Warden says, all right, let me get back behind the queen where it's safe. Right before the expo switches targets to shoot him. That was perfect timing. Rage spell to help these healers. The multi might kill the warden. The healer switched to the warden. We have to pop the queen ability. Bat bomb on the lower scatter. Golem to tank the wizard tower. Blimp for the second scatter. There's so many moving parts. How does he look at everything at once? Fourth skelly trap pops. Klaus has like nine eyes in his head, dude. Yeti Bomb takes out the scatter. We might have to freeze the other wizard tower unless the ice golem can tank it. No, the Yetis take it out. Queen is still alive with the warden, taking out all the defenses. Last ice golem is in to tank the wizard tower, and it does. The timing is perfect. Klaus with the big brain plays. He still has seven hogs that he didn't even have to use. What? The defenses are all dead, bro. He just swagged seven hogs. 25 seconds for cleanup, though. That could be an issue. We send the headhunters with the giant to kill the king. Please, you gotta... Don't time fail. Don't time fail. He sends the hogs on the left, on the right side. Oh, my gosh. Clean up hogs and Klaus. Jeez, what did we even just witness? The queen charge... I'm not even gonna call it a hog attack. They were swag hogs. The queen charge golem bat bomb attack. <laughs> What? That was phenomenal. Beautiful attack from Klaus. But Queen Walkers are still in trouble if they can't get another defense. Kartik is in with the next attack for Darkest Muzan. And if he triples here, ooh, Darkest Muzan are going to have quite a hefty lead. And what is he bringing? Queen Charge, Valkyries with Super Valks, and Bat Spells. Dude, everybody thinks they're Klaus today. Oh, baby. Let's see if Kartik can pull it off against Stars' base. Oh, my goodness. Starts off on the top side with a wizard to funnel. Wall break on the right side. Okay. What are we going to do on the right side? Interesting base here from Stars. Queen up at 1130. Another wall break at 1030. Baby dragon at 10 o'clock. Queen takes out the air defense. She's going to continue making her way over toward 1030. Very nicely done. Nicely done. With the warden being used with the queen. And, oh gosh, we're sending everybody. Okay, here we go. Ice Golem, Valkyrie, Super Valks, and a Log Launcher that the cannon's going to kill early. Pop the warden ability just before the Log Launcher gets in there. So the cannon is going to die pretty early, except we use the Royal Champion to help save that Log Launcher. Hopefully it can get us all the way to the Town Hall. Ooh, this is going to be a risky attack. He doesn't have anything to get that town hall, dude. The log launcher might not bust the walls all the way open because it took too much damage from that cannon. Super Valk's in the core, trying to get as much value as they can. Queen is slow to keep up. She's beaten on a really weird wall. Queen, you're throwing. Queen, you're throwing. Oh, Kartik, bruh. He's trying hard to one star. We send the king from three o'clock. We have another wall breaker, but we're going to fight the enemy king first. Royal Champion at 9 o'clock. Took out the Eagles. She'll get a few more things as well. Send the Wall Breaker at 3 soon. King's got to take out the Bomb Towers. Queen had to pop her ability. She doesn't have the healers on her anymore. Does King go inside for this Town Hall? He does. We do have a Freeze. And he still has bats, dude. Oh my gosh. Don't tell me this works. Down goes the Town Hall. We Bat Bomb the Top Side Wizard. He still has four Freezes. Bro, this is going to be a triple. This is going to be a triple. He starts freezing up the Wizard Tower. That's the only splash left. This is a three star. Oh my gosh. One more freeze on the wizard tower because why not? He's trying to swag it and he can. He can swag two freezes. Wow. What a creative attack from Kartik. 
and it's gonna work a minute for cleanup the queen is still alive the healer on the ice golem in the core bats have to do cleanup we got a balloon and archers on the top side just to help out a little bit but wow queen charge bats is the story of today kartik gonna be able to get it done and another three star for darkest muzan and they're just starting to run away with this match look at this he's gonna have like 25 seconds or more to spare bats are so slow on the storages but luckily the balloon is there to help assist 27 to go another skelly trap but the valkyrie can take those all out with one swing nicely done and boom three stars on the board and darkest muzan are just looking absolutely amazing today Yuta 14 is in with the last attack for Queen Walkers. They need a triple and a one star. And <laughs> Yuta, what are you using, bro? He's bringing one of every troop almost. Oh my gosh. 17 sneaky goblins. No healers. We're going in with a blizzard to start it off, though. Okay. He wants the blizzard to land in this little dead zone right here. Or, or not. He pops it early. Okay. Gonna be able to get the multi, the eagle, maybe even kill the CC troops if he drops the next invisibility perfectly. Hound is not covered. Perfect. He will be able to kill the hound and the eagle. Can he kill all the pups? Most of them. Pretty much. One still alive, but that doesn't really matter. Baby dragon to funnel at 730. What's next? He did get quite a bit of value from that blizzard. Looking nice here for you to 14. Baby dragon gonna make a little funnel. Tries to funnel with some sneaky goblins. Finds four Teslas over there. Okay. Baby Dragon made one heck of a funnel. Queen with a unicorn from 830. <clears throat> we want her to walk up and into the Inferno Tower compartments. Balloon, Rage, and an E-Dragon on the gold storage. Actually chains a lot. Holy value. That's a nice funnel right there. It did cost a rage spell, but it did get it quite a bit of value. Skelly spell to distract the single target Inferno Tower. Golem in front. King and Warden. We're just doing a big Sui here for like the entire base. Wallbreaker in as well. Down goes the single. We'll be able to get through the multi and okay. Uh, he does have one more Wallbreaker. The next one goes there and the last one goes right where he wants it to to give him access to the core. But the king's walking around. <gasps> no! We popped the warden ability. King's going outside. Bye bye, king. Hopefully he doesn't pull the warden as well. That'd be bad news bears. Royal champion from the top side of the base. Queen has to solo the scatter in the core. She's getting targeted by everything. Gotta pop her ability. Down goes the scatter, at least. King and Royal Champion on the top side. Need to pop the King ability, so hopefully she can get in front of the Royal Champion. The Warden got targeted by all the Expos as soon as the Queen popped her ability. Oh, he's gonna haste Sneakies into the Town Hall. Yes! Hasted Sneakies with the invisibility. Down goes the Town Hall. That's amazing. Royal Champion on the top side. And we still got a bunch of other troops to use. He just sueed the entire base. King uh, still has his ability, actually. So does the Royal Champion. We got an invisibility, a freeze, and a poison in the bag. He starts using balloons from the south side with some cleanup troops. Can they take out that wizard tower? I'm not sure. He's going to use the balloons with the haste, but the haste expires. Rip the swag balloons. RC pops our ability. We don't have any more balloons. So this is looking a little sketchy now. Ooh, only 20 seconds to go. He should have used those spells earlier to keep the RC alive. Why didn't he? This could have been a three star. King wraps around the outside of the base. 93%. 94 if he used those spells to keep the RC alive, I think this would have been a triple. Oh, what a shame. That was a super cool creative attack from Yuta14, but it's going to fall just short. At 96%, we run out of time with the two swag spells, three swag spells, really. Nice try. Very creative. It honestly should have worked, but not going to be able to get it done for Yuta14. Way is in with the last attack of the match. And let's see what he's bringing for us. Hopefully something spicy. And no. He's just using a normal dragon attack. In a me more. Lol. Oh well. Imagine making fun of someone for using a normal attack. Let's see if he can get the three star on Stodger's base. We're a champion from the south side. Actually, he's going to RC trick the town hall, dude. I haven't seen anybody do this at town hall 14 yet. A lot of pros started doing this at town hall 13. Let's see how different it is. There goes the earthquake. Invisibility spell, RC ability nice and early. She's going to get the Town Hall for sure. No skeleton spell to stop her. Beautiful. Now watch how much damage this Town Hall is going to do to her. Giga Bomb. Boom! Giga Poison. Say goodbye, RC. Yikes. She dies fast. 
the expo stays up and the builder hut's actually gonna repair that expo like all the way to full health nice uh we're gonna pull the cc troops down south kill them with the baby dragon and the poison need a wizard there as well or else the lava hound's gonna dodge the poison lex is about to sneeze <laughs> yeah goodness i'm allergic to normal attacks i wish he brought a meme army but oh well baby dragon will take out the lava hound can he take out all the pups we're gonna invest one dragon to help the other dragon gets pulled by the pups and then what's the plan king from three o'clock dragons from four o'clock that builder hut is repairing the expo all the way back up to full health all right warden on air with the owl to support the dragons as we push into the base here queen behind the king we got the yak with the king unicorn with the queen we're gonna go with an early rage save the warden tome for a few seconds pop it right there as we start making our way into the double multi targeting inferno towers stone slammer from the seven o'clock side of the base king's gonna have to pop his ability soon he's taking a lot of damage dragons are splitting off into two main groups we're gonna freeze the core dragons get through that multi stone slammer on the southwest side gonna hopefully be able to deal with that other multi tesla farm on the back end we don't have a road champion to deal with it. We're going to split up our rage bells here for both groups of dragons. It's still looking pretty decent here for Wei. Queen wraps back around the outside, takes out that air defense. Only one air defense left right behind the eagle artillery. But we've got so many dragons alive and three spells still. This is wrecked. King's going to be able to take out most of the Tesla farm. Queen is still alive at full health with ability and unicorn. This is absolutely destroyed. He gets swag three spells. Wei with an amazing... RC trick into the dragon attack, swags three spells, and Darkest Muzan with one hell of a show today. Nice performance from them. Huge GG's, and they are going to be taking the victory today over Queen Walkers with the impressive performance. 14 stars to 11% is going to be 96.2 to 89.4.